this conference was really important and really timely. Um, I love that young people and students are getting involved in um, the movement, so for immigration, immigrant rights, for racial justice, but also really taking charge of their own education, really seeing it as a site for really transformative organizing. Um, and I think there are young people, they are powerful people, and I'm excited to see what they do with the information that they learn today. And it's just because I believe in it. Um, I think it's so powerful to, to bring youth from all different communities here and as the conference says, to empower them. Um, I think it's important for them because then they see that they're not alone in their struggle. Because sometimes when you're organizing, especially when you're young, you can feel like you guys are the only ones that care um, because there are other people in our communities that have yet to care. And, and that's what we come here for as well, is that development in, in um, helping them co organize their communities and get people to care. El rostro que la máscara tapado, el sentir de los humanos que practican el vivir en igualdad, sentimiento de un hermano que no paga por la vida espiritual, que fomenta la armonía. It's possible, you know, SAS can grow and, you know, teach other organizations, well, this, this is what needs to happen. This is how we need to assess our youth. Because I know, for example, like Tiffany Joy, like I can call her whenever. When, when do we start when it comes to them affecting the LGBT community? Because it's like we're meeting a quota to them, and that's it. If you present as LGBT, then it's like an issue. And it's more of an issue when it comes to policing. And I know that there are like organizations such as like I'm Legal or like Immigration Equality that are already meeting those needs, but that needs to be more of an awareness around that. Um, yeah, I think that they told me that they want, like, they told me that I'm more than welcome to stop by their office to volunteer with them over the summer, and that's one of the things I'm really excited about, that, like, for all this time I was regretting the fact that, like, there is no South Asian representation in immigration, or that there's, like, no one's talking about undocumented South Asians, or no one's talking about undocumented queer South Asians, and now I just found this group that, like, I now have this connection to. So it's the connections, it's the networking, it's the realizing that we're all family at the end of the day, and that we can benefit to support each other, to help raise each other up in our fight that I'm really excited about, and I'm looking forward to doing more work with DRUM. Uh, but I would say the most difficult part is, um, I don't know, not knowing anyone at the beginning, and because you just kind of came from, came from another country and to a new city that you know no one about, and you left all your friends and families and in a new environment in a different language and different culture. So it took me a little bit time to adjust, but I'm kind of glad that I did. And yeah. This is a movement for a multiracial democracy that works for all of us. And so I think the Black Lives Matter movement and the movement for immigrant rights is very much so intertwined. There are people like black immigrants who really embody um, both uh, segments of these movements. However, I think that there's also a vested interest for all of our movements to have justice, right? And so I think that we'll see a lot more collaboration in future times. We're already seeing it. Um, I just saw last week a lot of really important and powerful statements coming out of the immigrant rights movement in support of the Black, uh, the Baltimore uprisings, um, and also calling for um, well, they were condemning the killing of Terrence Kellum in Detroit. I'm not sure if you all heard about that, but he was Terrence Kellum was a 20-year-old black uh, young man who was a U.S. citizen, and he was killed by an ICE agent who was there to serve him a warrant. And so I think that our movements are actually way more intertwined than we realize, and actually the, the government and the state are deputizing ICE agents to act like local law enforcement. They're deputizing local law enforcement to act as ICE. And so the system is actually um, operating in a more synergistic way than our communities sometimes are.